Hello everyone. I would like to inform you about a very important benevolent uh, situation, which is the heliacal rise of Jupiter, who becomes visible on the 12th of May. So Jupiter becomes visible on 12th of May uh, after quite long period of invisibility. Um, I think uh, on mid uh, April, he became invisible almost for a month, he is invisible. And when Jupiter is invisible, we do not really feel his full blessing because literally he is not uh, standing on, uh, on the sky for us. He is there, of course, but from our perspective, we don't see him because he is in too near uh, proximity of uh, the sun. So he becomes visible. What will he be doing? First of all, uh, he is visible in Aries, uh, in the fifth degrees of Aries. What you have there, very important, from the first to the seven degrees of Aries, you have the head of the celestial realm. The head is the mind, the head is the mental process, the head is always the beginning. Uh, Aries, the celestial realm, is always associated with um, beginnings. This is the traditional first sign of the zodiac. Uh, so Jupiter becomes visible there. And this is positive because this is about... Uh, positive thoughts, bringing some positive moods, so helping us overcome the heavier Saturn in aspects, if you want, because in the meantime, Saturn is in Aquarius and Jupiter will be now creating very active already because of his visibility, harmonious style, which is harmonious aspect to Saturn to soften his energies. Also, Jupiter is in the eclipse point because you know the first eclipse now that we speak about the first eclipse took place on 20 April and now the second, fifth, sixth of May and Jupiter is in these eclipse points to soften the energies of the eclipse. Also, mm, what we have in these degrees, I will tell you, these degrees, fifth degree uh, of Aries, are the so-called white benevolent. Very, these are the best degrees in Aries, really the best, because there you have Athena Palace. Athena Palace, as you know, uh, the representation of Venus as a morning star. So Athena Palace is associated with wisdom, brave attitude, amazing knowledge, amazing dignity and morals because you know that she was the one that would um, in a war situation would side with the losing not with the winning so we are talking about amazing qualities of morals and virtues so Jupiter becomes visible there to bring us that hopefully this will be felt everywhere like on uh, on worldwide uh level like something really benevolent in terms of uh, good qualities of people and also good um, more um peaceful benevolent um you know energy around us um what else about jupiter oh yeah he will be with Rahu. Of course, at first sight, you will say uh, Jupiter with the lunar node, this is not good. Well, I will tell you that Jupiter, who is the natural ruler of the ninth house, is the guru, the most benevolent, patient, teacher, sheikh, guru, uh, because um, very moral, very wise, full of knowledge, empathy and patience. He is the only one in the Zodiac who can be in full control of the two lunar nodes, the head of the dragon, the tail of the dragon, Rahu and Ketu. So Jupiter with Rahu is something interesting, very original, not without control, but it is very driven, very original. So driven that this can be great for prayers to be answered. And I think somewhere was said uh, in ancient literature, and I cannot quote because I don't remember where I saw it, 
that Jupiter with Rahu actually is helping our prayers to reach where they're aiming, where they have to. So this is something very good as well. Also, at the moment of the heliacal rise of Jupiter, Mars is entering Aries. Uh, and actually also the moon is entering Aquarius. Now, this entrance of, did I say Mars is entering Aries? No, no, sorry. Mars is entering Cancer. Uh, excuse me, Jupiter is in Aries. That's why I said it. Uh, so Jupiter will be um, also aspecting Mars, like the beginning of Mars in Cancer, which is the, uh, the cycle, 12 May to 30 June, Mars will be fallen detriment in Cancer. Yes, this is not good. It is a little bit heavy and disharmonious for people who have sidereal ascendants, uh, Cancer or Capricorn or Moon there. But Jupiter is like softening these energies, like he's calming down this, this harmonious energy of Mars. And this is important because the beginning of every cycle is showing how the whole cycle will look like. So Mars will be a bit softened by the presence of Jupiter. So this is something which I think um, will, be, will be good. So um, how will this influence the people? You know, um, especially people who have sidereal ascendance, Aries or moon in Aries who have the best um, energy. They will feel this straight away. But let's see the 12 ascendants. Okay, so now we'll be looking at the 12 ascendants and how the heliacal rise of Jupiter will influence you. Uh, just before I forget, um, on the 6th, which is actually tomorrow at 10 o'clock Pacific American time, on the website of AstroWada, um, I will place a link under this video. You can join our class on where I will be uh, speaking about ancient astrological magic. The class will be very practical, but also astrological. Uh, it will be, this. I will be describing how uh, they perform their magic, how um, this can be applied to uh, nowadays. Uh, we'll be speaking about talismans, uh, amulets, and also other types of astrological magic. And yes, there will be astrological part as well. So if you're interested, you can still join us there. Uh, now let's see all 12 ascendants. First, um, we're speaking about, uh, you know, people who have sidereal Aries. This will be tropical Taurus or moon there in Aries and Taurus. Of course, you feel this um, benevolent energy straight away. This will help you feel well, feel safe, feel protected. This can bring peace in your romantic life and in any area where you were missing peace or um, resolution of things. This can be very helpful. You will be, you will feel this energy straight away, straight away. Um, also, this can be helpful uh, for your finances, communication with brothers and sisters, travel, communication plans and all. This will be really blessing. Now let's look at people who have sidereal ascendant Taurus or moon in Taurus. Or for the modern tropical astrology, this is Gemini. For you, this is your 12th house, but nevertheless... Uh, Jupiter is sextiling Saturn on your 10th house, softening any heavy matters or communication in your career place. He, he is able to bring um, solutions, positive resolutions, peace, um, and can be very helpful. He also sextiles Venus from your second house, and this can be benevolent for your finances, also for healing, and also for Mm, winning over enemies. This is very important. Um, he can heal your sleep if you had um, disturbed sleep, let's say. And now we're looking at people who have sidereal ascendant Gemini or moon in Gemini. Or if you're following the modern tropical astrology, this is Cancer. For you, Jupiter will be on your 11th house. Good for your children financially good for social circle, for friendships, for finances. Also, 
he aspects the ascendant, which is fine. He aspects uh, Mars in your second house. Of course, watch out a little bit when you make financial decisions, um, and at least until 30th of June. But uh, Jupiter will be also supporting your studies and travel. This will be very benevolent. Now we're looking at people who have sidereal ascendant cancer or moon in cancer, or if you're following the modern tropical astrology, this will be Leo. You have Mars enter in your ascendant at the moment of the Jupiterian heliacal rise uh, on your uh, 10th house. Jupiter will be helping you a lot, but still watch out a little bit because Mars will be on your ascendant. Be harmonious. Uh, try to be a little bit more in harmony with your romantic partner. Be careful when you travel a bit more. Be careful when you uh, negotiate, communicate. You have to watch out a little bit, you know. Uh, but yes, Jupiter will, will denote to your horoscope amazing help uh, like you see how things are balanced there is a ha heavy aspect but the nature is giving us uh, usually the good a helpful aspect so um, jupiter will be helpful in your career place highest goals so um, as you see there is balance but still watch out a little bit how you communicate with people how you travel you know just be a little bit careful not to get into any risky situation People who have sidereal ascendant Leo or moon in Leo, or from the perspective of the modern astrology, this is Virgo. For you, Jupiter rises on your ninth house. Good for communication with people abroad. Good for travel. Good even for studies, new studies, new initiatives. Uh, he will bring peace on your seventh house. Uh, in your romantic life, partnerships. He will bring you protection. So this is very good. And now we're looking at people who have sidereal sun in Virgo or moon, or moon in Virgo, or if you're following the modern tropical astrology, this is Libra. Now for you, Jupiter rises on your eighth house. Good for the finances of your partner. Good for, to bring to help you um, solve depression, fears, anxieties good to help you solve financial issues like results from court cases inheritances partnership money of any kind he will support your career because he sextiles venus in your 10th house so this was all very positive uh, now we're looking at people who have sidereal ascendant libra or moon in libra or if you're following the modern tropical astrology this is scorpio now for you again uh, like, it's it, almost equally positive like for people who have sidereal ascendant aries because for you jupiter will be visible in your seventh house to din to to give energy straight towards your ascendant to help you feel well protected to bring peace in your romantic life harmony to help you in your um, contracts agreements communication with people so to help you in any um, contractual relationships let's say which require which are like agreement based he will support your fifth house your children your studies also uh, he will support your career but you need to be a little bit more diplomatic and careful especially from 12th may until 30 june when it comes to korea and highest goals and you have to be careful when you make decisions related to new projects new uh, plans and communication with superiors now we look at people who have sidereal sun and scorpio or moon in scorpio or if you're following the modern tropical astrology this will be sagittarius for your jupiter rises on your sixth house he is uh, helping you because he will be aspecting your ascendant ruler mars this is helpful of course uh, of, but in the meantime from 12th may until 30 june watch out a little bit how you communicate how you travel how you study um, but jupiter will support your health he will help you uh, to bring peace in your routine environment he will help you um to bring you healing so this will be also be he can bring peace in your home as well and now we are looking at people who have sidereal ascendant sagittarius 
or moon in Sagittarius, or if you're uh, looking from the perspective of the modern tropical astrology, this will be Capricorn. For your Jupiter appears on your fifth house to support your children, to support creative activities, pleasure, uh, any talented work, uh, joy, um, gains financial. Uh, he will support your romantic life because he aspects also the seventh very fine, very romantically. Communication with brothers and sisters, trade, so this will be fine. And he's your ascendant ruler even more. And now we're looking at people who have sidereal ascendant Capricorn or moon in Capricorn. Or if you're following the modern tropical astrology, this is Aquarius. For you, Jupiter rises on your fourth house to support your parents, your home, uh, to support communication, because this is axis of four, ten houses, which is evolving also your career, to support your career place, uh, the, um, which is directly related to how we feel at home, of course. Um, he will be also helpful for your finances and for your routine work and health because he aspects Venus in your sixth house. So very nice. And now we're looking at people who have sidereal ascendant Aquarius or moon in Aquarius or from the perspective of the modern tropical astrology, this is Pisces. For you, Saturn is on your ascendant and when Jupiter rises, he will aspect your ascendant ruler. Uh, Saturn on your ascendant, this is good for your communication negotiations, study, travel, you feel a bit better even so because the energy of Saturn is a bit heavy and Jupiter will soften this energy. Uh, he also sextiles Venus in your fifth house. This is fine for uh, creative work, talented work, joy, children. And now look, we're looking at the last sign, Pisces uh, or moon in Pisces from sidereal perspective. And from the modern tropical perspective astrology, this will be Aries. Jupiter is your ascendant ruler and he's now on your second house where he becomes visible. Great for finances, great for communication with family members, family roots. Uh, he will support also your home, parents. Uh, he will be also aspecting very nicely your health, your routine. In general, the fact that the ruler of your ascendant becomes visible in such benevolent degrees is really blessing and is very benevolent for your well-being, for your health, for your for fighting melancholy. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was useful. At least I gave you good news, positive news. So, see you very soon again. Bye-bye.